Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Ursa Ryan and today we're playing Greece on the A to Z challenge. Greece, yes, not the musical, the country. I'm looking forward to this and my channel supporters have given me a very good set of mods to use on this one. It is going to be a Greece on Greece showdown on a Greece map. The map in question is Saf's Silk Road, the Occident. It's a really cool map that basically is Italy, Greece, and then some of Turkey. You'll see the map. It's quite a small one, actually. It is only an 80 by 43, so genuinely a small TSL map. Looks really cool. I'm playing with Deity++, which is probably something I'm going to be doing as a regular thing now, and I'm doing the usual thing of putting the bonuses at the start for the AI to zero and giving them even larger bonuses through the end of the game. So far in testing, it's led to some very difficult AI and some really really good play. I'm having to actually step up my game a little bit which is good fun. These are the settings, essentially a balanced start for everybody. I've turned TSL starting off. Turns out if you put nine greases on the game or eight or whatever we're doing and then TSL it, the game gets very confused. So that's the details. But let me just show you who we've got in the game. So firstly, the original Greece, the OG, Gorgo and Pericles. Now, these I am not going to play as today because we've played games with both of them and I feel like we're going to have a little bit of fun with a different version of Greece. Speaking of, this is a lovely mod that puts Alexander in charge of Greece rather than Macedon. That could be quite fun. Again, I'm not going to play as Alexander because we've already done him on this A to Z, so that's all good. These are the remaining Greases in question. So we have, and again, this is going to be an absolute butchery of his name, Epaminodas. I, I mean, I'm really sorry, but this is a version of Greece that effectively has more influence points for every alliance, and that bonus doubles when you get to level three alliances. It's quite cool. There's also a unique sacred band unit, which you unlock pretty early into the game that appears to not suffer damage when injured or combat penalties. It's essentially the samurai upgrade but on a different unit, so I'm not entirely sure how that works, but it looks really cool. Sparta 300 Leonidas makes an appearance. Come and take them. This is one of my favourite references. It's wonderful. And again, quite simple. Flanking and support bonuses for the units is doubled, so stacking your units Sparta style is exactly what you need to do, and cities with encampments get three amenities. Really cool. Just don't tell him that Gorgo is in the game. That's something that we probably shouldn't mention at this point. Theoden, I, I, this is again quite a cool looking mod. This is cities with an Acropolis or Holy Site provide plus one general point per turn as well as getting 50% production bonus towards anti-cavalry units. So yeah, hoplite spam. <laughs> they also get 25% more experience in combat and you get a civic boost when recruiting a great general. So getting angry with the hoplites and building the statue of Zeus, both things that would be really good with this Greece. Polycrates, this is Tyrant of the Mediterranean, 30% production towards naval, melee and ranged units in cities of at least two specialty districts. So, effectively build boats. I'm going to tell you now, boats are going to be important on a map of Greece. There's a lot of water and a lot of islands. 50% production towards the first district in a city, that's really handy, and cities with an aqueduct cannot be put under siege. Very, very specific. I'm sure that's something to do with his history. I don't know what it is, but it seems quite cool. And then we have Telesilla, who is a slightly more modern Greece, I believe, and this one probably out of all of them could be considered to be the most overpowered. Walls produce plus one great writer point and have a slot for great works of writing. Now, I don't know whether that's all walls or just ancient walls. I think it might be all walls, so that could be quite powerful. <laughs> yeah, we might be building a lot of walls. Great works of writing, art and music provide two faith, while at war they provide production. So there's a piece war uh, difference there, faith when at peace, production when at war, and units receive a combat bonus when adjacent to a great writer or great musician. I don't know what that combat bonus is, but you basically have to trail Shakespeare around the map, getting him to help with the fighting. I guess it would help with the actual creation of novels, right? They've seen some, they've seen some stuff and you know, could go write and sing about it afterwards. Now looking through all these mods, I kind of had a similar variation of this game when I played America, and I chose a mod that seemed quite cool. We have alliance with city-states and alliance with players, we have general combat, we have anti-cav combat, we have naval combat, and we have great work accumulation. So lots of different styles of play. What I'm going to do is like this. Firstly, I'm going to ban all leaders that aren't Greece. So like so. This unfortunately... Oh, hang on. We want to ban mass Macedon Alex, not Greece Alex. Okay, so we have eight available options. Fantastic. What I'm then going to do is ban Gorgo, Pericles, and Alexander, and I'm going to load them into the game manually. 
like so. Now I should be forced to take a random leader from this patch of people. The other thing I'm just thinking of doing for jokes, really, for lols, is I think I'm going to put Cyrus into the game. We have to have Persia in a game with Leonidas, don't we? <laughs> it's just too good. And from that, we will just load into the game randomly and see who we get given. This is going to be quite a cramped map, I think, but it's all good. Deity plus plus, it's going to be difficult. Should we see who we're going to get? Let's just get cracking, shall we? Let's do it. Press start game and we'll load in and we'll see who we get given. I'm curious as to whether or not we're going to get a combat based Greece or a naval based Greece or a great works and walls based Greece. This could go in any direction. The other thing we could get is a total game crash. It seems to be working as I've been practicing off camera getting this game to load, but you always hope in a modded game. There we go. Right, we'll t okay, we'll talk about this one in a second. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. This should be really, really good fun. We are playing as Telesilla. So that is walls provide plus one great writer points and have a slot for great works of writing. While at peace, great works of writing, art and music provide plus two faith. While at war, they provide production. Units receive a combat bonus when adjacent to a great writer or a great musician. Okie dokie. We are going to be having a lot of fun. Um, I say that, but we are making up for the sins of us starting as a very powerful person by appearing to start in the middle of West Asia. So this map, we're right in the corner of it at the moment. Uh, Greece is in the middle of it. Italy is on the left. Turkey is on the right. And we're sort of in the Middle East. We're going to have to go and fight our way back in, I think. Uh, unfortunately for us as well, it seems to have started us without any fresh water. So we're going to have to go and um, move on to this desert tile. Oh, no. Okay, right, this is this is an intriguing start. This is a really, really odd start. Already I'm seeing the campus has to go on that tile with the wreath there. I'm also thinking that my Acropolis has got to go possibly on that tile, or maybe possibly on this tile if this is a holy site. I don't know, we'll see about that one. But yeah, I'm thinking holy site. Greece is really good at getting religions quickly because Plato's Republic means that you can put the wildcard policy down super fast. And once you've gone down to mysticism and you get inspiration, nope, uh, revel revelation, <laughs> revel blah, 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 blah. when you pick up that one, you get more profit points per turn, you rush for a religion and Simon Peter wants to come and say hello in your empire before you know it. Yeah, this is a super deserty start, but actually, weirdly, it should be okay. Reeds and marshes, anyone? Am I right? I think that's exactly what we're going to have to go for here. So yeah, going for faith super quick, going for walls, astrology. I'm just going to have to beeline all these as strategies. This could be really, really intriguing. Let's just see. You can see that so far, okay, most people have settled on the map. That's good. I'm just going to keep an eye on that. If too many people weren't settling, it means the TSL nature of the map was kind of a little bit buggered. Oh, we're in sewers. That's exactly where we are. We're, this is this is sewers. Okay, so we can push up through the Middle East and we can go and see if we can, I would reclaim is probably the strongest word, but we can go and see if we can become introduced to Greece once again. Oh, the river's flooding as well. A oh, whole extra yields. There we go. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect. Right. What we're going to do is I'm going to go and find the Dead Sea, which conveniently is just above my starting location. That'll unlock the holy site nice and quick. I've also got the tribal village, Dead Alps. Sea, astrology boosted, one builder unit. Huzzah. OK, that is possibly what I. Yeah, I think that's possibly the best one I could have hoped for there. Irrigation already boosted. I've got a nice four yield tile. I just need the faith now. If I can get the faith together. We can get a Pantheon and get ourselves some production. Production is easily going to be the biggest problem for me on this game. Easily. Just reminding myself of what the Dead Sea does. It's the one that heals you completely, isn't it? It doesn't provide fresh water, but sometimes it does actually spawn on another lake, which means it does give you fresh water. It's really weird that, yeah, that's exactly what's happening. There is actually a lake underneath the tile, Lake Kala. So it says it doesn't give you fresh water, but it actually is. I mean, that's weird. I could put a preserve there. That would be pretty funny. Let's see the appeal around it. Yep, that would be good. That would be good. So this technically, yeah, is a breathtaking tile, regardless of what it says. Got a nice holy site there. I could also, of course, put the holy site there as well. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I've got options here. In fact, actually, there's another holy site location there. So, I mean, hmm, this might just be the holy city of my empire. Just put all the cities, all of them. 
Oh man, we are going to have a desert fueled campaign. This is going to be absolutely horrible. Ugh. Uh, and I can't get around that way. Good, good. Okay, so we've got to take the mountain pass. The map creator Saf, good old Saf, friend of the channel. This, I believe, was described to be a little bit of a difficult map in terms of choke points. So we might have to think about how we proceed on such a map. Oh, settlers in 27 turns. I have no production in this game no production whatsoever we're gonna have to really try and get lucky on the old scouts here there's 50 gold i will just buy this tile and improve it already that already is just that improved flood and it does give me a single production which honestly at this point is about all i can hope for i also went for this tile as opposed to this one because if i get the pantheon that is going to be another production tile I think I'm going to go into Africa with one scout. Do I just double scout this? It's going to be a lot of space in this desert, I feel, but I also want to rush a holy site. I don't want to let that out of my sights too quickly. A monument would also be very handy to get that pantheon and to get the religion up quickly. There's a lot of good stuff. I think we just have to focus on getting faith as quickly as possible. You've got to have faith. And I think getting scouts out in order to get tribal huts is probably the best way of me doing this. So it's not a bad idea. Holy sight, down it goes. Let's do this quickly. Code of Laws, we can get God King and Urban Planning because we're Greece. Yay for Greece, it's awesome. Um, I don't know where this barb encampment is, but it feels like it's way too close. Yeah, a very Holy Sight heavy map, this run. I think this might work out for us. Well, you know my opinion on Feed the World. I think it's best. I think Jesuit Education would also be a very fun run if we were to go super culture focused. Deity plus really makes the AI fire quickly when it comes to culture late game. So never really seen if we can get a culture victory on that particular format. Well, we'll give it a go. Well, there's the barb encampment. I believe, oh, there's a tribal hut. Oh, this is going to kill my bird, my scouts, isn't it? They're going to run out. No, they didn't run out. Okay, I can just sneak around then. Perfect. Um, I'll just save my promotion just in case it attacks me and then I can run off. Already I'm finding some very nice camper spots. There's a lot of reefs on this map, a huge amount of reefs. I'm just anything above plus, plus four or above. I'm just going to pick out for myself here. Oh no, that's a tribal encampment. That's not good. I didn't want to have to rush bronze working, but that feels like exactly what I'm going to have to do here. I'm going to get one more scout out and then we're going to have to switch quickly to a defense of Gnosis. I do not want them to come and give me too much in the way of pillaging and grief. Oh my goodness, tribal huts are fine, but barb encampments are unfortunately sort of everywhere for me right now. That's not good. Looks like Africa sort of runs out here anyway, so maybe that's as far as my scout was ever going to go. That's okay. Now I'm going to perform one holy site prayers, not for the religion, but for the faith gain. I want that pantheon as quickly as possible. Somebody's getting 14 points. Somebody's already doing holy site prayers. Wow. Okay, people are not messing around. Feed the world might be fairly unlikely. Oh, this warrior seems to have found me, but if I keep myself defended, I can heal and fortify. I should be able to ride that one out fairly quickly. Actually, I'm going to switch to not a gogi there. I wanted to go a gogi there and uh, let's go for discipline as well. Let's use the Greek start to rush ourselves a slinger. I just need some defense. Any defense will do. Oh, a desert storm has appeared, putting down tiles. Interesting. No tiles gain fertility, though. That's unfortunate. We're looking for as many natural disasters as we can in this area to give ourselves as big a bonus as we can get away with, really. Okay, unfortunately, the scout has just found us, but I do have the warrior back. So I've just done a little, little replacement with that scout. The scout's going to go out and do the scouting whilst the warrior comes back to defend my land. And this scout actually managed to survive. And there's a slinger. I'm going to have to just uh, run around. I don't think this scout can actually get back, unfortunately. There's no way of that happening. I might be able to just run away, but we'll see. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's dead. That was probably a miscalculation, but what are you going to do? And would you know it, unfortunately, the Lady of the Reeds and Marshes is not available to us. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to have to go for something a little different. Hmm... A very low production start this, and that is the little bit of production I could have got. That's not an option. What can we do? Holy sites get production or get adjacency from desert. Now that is something that could work. Somebody's already gone for a religion though, and unfortunately it's not showing me what religious choices they've made, which is a bit annoying. So I can't see if work ethic has been taken, because if work ethic has been taken, 
then that changes my mind a little bit on this. I mean, there's a lot of desert adjacency available to us, especially if we go and settle into the desert, but it's not really what I wanted to do per se. But I might have to do it just to effectively make sure that we have a play this game. And already that would be, because this is a desert mountain, isn't it? Yes, it is. So that holy site would go from plus one to plus five. That's a big bonus. Yeah, desert folklore. Let's just do it. Um, Eastern Orthodoxy, choral music. Okay, for you. That's good. That that gamble is a little bit better off now. Right, I'm going to bring my warrior back. Please get out. I don't want you here. You're being annoying. No thank you, please, today. Uh, sling a kill. Good. That, that is a barb incursion appearing and they look pretty mean. I'm gonna have to get one more slinger and try and fight this off. Oh Lord, there's also a barb horseman down there. Eek. Yep, we are being swarmed. We are being swarmed. Uh, can I survive this if I stay put? Possibly not. Oh, I shouldn't have left my slinger there. I should have fall back. Never mind. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? They're gonna just encroach in and attack my slinger. Ouch. Ouchie. Let's go to that and let's go to that and attack and get the kill again. Bronze working boosted. If I can get my hoplites out, we should be able to push back pretty quickly. That was Mexico City, by the way. A really good city state. I like Mexico City. It makes amenities in the late game just child's play to get. So that, that could be fun. Garrison promotion on this slinger. I've got a good foothold on this city. Now we're going to get pottery quickly. Finish this slinger and then I can go for a hoplite. Oh my goodness, I have no production in this city at all. But that is a iron. Okay. So I can't put myself a... Yeah, there is no campus available on that tile. I might as well go and try and build it. Speaking of builders, if you could give me a tribal hut round about now, that would be awesome. No, don't find barbs. Barbs are the last thing I want. Oh, for goodness sake, they're now swarming me. Oh, this is the only problem about heavy desert maps is that just barbs are seriously everywhere look at this look at this this is not on it is the siege of Knossos. like people are building pyramids that's even a desert wonder the game is like come on what can we do to ursa today that's gonna just really annoy him <laughs> oh dear. um i actually can retreat good right just just stay safe. Even if I have to have a tile pillaged right now, it's worth it. In fact, I think I want, do I want the builder to get that iron sorted quickly? I, I can't afford it. Oh, these barbs are a nightmare. No, go away. Go away. Come on, leave me alone. They are just continuing to swarm and swarm and swarm and swarm, but we are healing up slowly. Pottery is done. Should we rush animal husbandry into archer? Archery? Archery might be a decent move here. Please go away. Please go away. Oh, I'm going to have that tile pillaged. I can just tell. I can just tell already. Yep. Blech. Okay. At least it's a food tile. That feels a little bit better. Garrison. Attack. And I'll double attack in a second. Come on, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You can't. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. I say that. We are being absolutely overrun here. But it's okay. Die. Die. It's another barb. Uh, oh no, that's Barbarian's Approach. No, I don't need a notification for that. I figured that one out by myself. <laughs> I, was, I was there. I saw it. <laughs> oh dear. This is any hope, by the way, of me getting a Golden Age totally gone because I've just been totally production frozen. Uh, there's my hoplite. I should, I should have been in a position where I could have got a Golden Age this age. That's a little frustrating, but what, what are you going to do? Military tactics boosted though. Yeah, but Hoplite's powerful. It's pretty powerful. I need a second. If I can get two, they can follow each other around, give ourselves a plus 10, and we can just destroy any barbarian incursion that we've got. Get myself some error score, get myself some gold. There's a lot of good stuff. Pingala, get in there. Give me everything you've got. I need to keep this city going. State workforce, I've got the government plaza. Foreign trade, it's good. How many writers are being recruited? Yeah, somebody's already on the great writers. That's good. To be fair, I don't mind if people earn the great writers that aren't me. I just want all the great writers to be earned. There's only a set amount of great writers that can be ever put into the game. That is a, ugh, a flood that's ruined a tile without giving yields. But I want all of the classical era ones to be taken up in the game at some point. Like, I don't actually mind who gets them, because later on I can always just buy them. And there is an archer. Okie dokie. Very good. I think we have the army now to push out and to take on these barbarians. P yep, okay, this is good, this is good. Vilnius, that will be a very interesting city-state for Acropolis uh, adjacencies later into the game, and that, that's pretty decent. 
Epaminodas. Okay, the first Greece has been found. They're the ones directly to my north. They only have a two population city, which is a bit intriguing. Are you the ones that went for that? Um, God of the Forge, no. If I find the Greece that went for the Pantheon I was after, I will be very, very disappointed with them. I think I'm going to go for free inquiry because that one is just the easiest one to farm. We really want a Golden Age this time. I have to go for a Golden Age if I can attack. Barb kill. There's the encampment. Okay, this is good. We're just going to hold the line on this. I know I'm going to get sling attacked, but I have another archer on the way. That should help a lot. And I have iron. Am I sat on iron? Is that an iron resource? It is. I'm actually earning iron. That's really handy. Okay, I can actually sell that iron for some gold per turn or some gold up front. I'm going to wait for a second, see if I can sell it at a better rate. Yeah, as discussed, we have been hit a couple times. I'm just going to uh, retreat across the river so that slinger can't get me. Also gives me a couple of turns to just fire my archers. But now I have to think, what are we going to do? Etamin Tanky. Now you see, that this would be sort of wonder I could have built if I'd gone to the Pantheon, eh? <laughs> Let's just focus on getting the Settler out. I think that's got to be the play for us here. Oh, the deal is actually getting worse because they dislike me, so I'm going to have to ship some iron to them now. At least get some gold in, and then we can go from there. Okay, perfect. I've now got to a stage where my hoplites are next to each other, and they are giving themselves adjacency because of it. Plus 10 bonus. They are now powerful enough to do anything I want them to do. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Also, Look at the holy sites I've got available to me around the Sahara. This is a very good location. Oh, that's that scout dead as well. Yeah, scouting on this map was impossible. This is what I always say about going for scouts at the beginning of the game. They die. They die so quickly. Go on then, Bobs. Go on. You think you're hard enough, do you? Attack me. I'm fortified. I'm ready for your charge. I want you to attack me. I dare you. Go for it. Go for it. Yes. Yes. Ha 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 ha! I knew you'd do it, you fools. Two more religions have gone, actually. Feed the World and Taoism, and neither of them went work ethic. I think work ethic has got to be the play then, to try and get some production. And I'm the only person going for that last religion, but I do want to kind of make sure that I actually get it. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for this. I, I really want to meet someone else. I need to meet someone else, ideally. Not you. <laughs> oh, okay, we've met Cyrus. Um, I think they found me rather than the other way around. I don't know where they could be, but hopefully they have some need for iron. Nope, they have loads of iron. Okay, right, so iron wasn't very helpful. Attack, attack. Our hoplites can take a lot of punishment to be fair, but they're not invincible, so I've got to be a little bit careful. My archer's just staying put on that side of the river. I can get that kill. Oh no, not quite a kill. I'm going to have to pull back, but we've cleared the barbs from this area of the map pretty well, actually, so that's pretty awesome. There's mysticism. That means I can go for revelation, and I'm going to do that instead of uh, conscriptions. Basically, the only thing keeping my economy afloat. Let's go revelation. I think that's probably the better option for me. That'll give me three points per turn. That means a religion in eight. Hopefully that's enough. Um, moderate flood. Another flood. Another flood. Um, I mean, that already was broken. So I'm not entirely sure what... I, did it actually reduce on tile damage? I was going to say, if it reduced the yields on a tile, I would have been very frustrated. You know, my capital is a city where infrastructure is going to massively help it to grow. A uh, water mill has got one, two, three resources that can be improved on it. We've got lots of desert tiles around here. I mean, Petra would be good, but a lot of it's floodplain, so it's not going to get the Petra bonus. And actually, production in order to get Petra in the first place is definitely the problem I've got round about now. Let's get a builder going. Where is my... Oh, where am I going to settle? Okay, if I settle up towards the north, I can get myself that citrus, a bit of food I can settle to get ourselves a nice area up here. That could be a good location for me. If I were to go a campus there and a government plaza there, I could holy site it. And then I could settle another city maybe on this side. That's probably a better Petra city. That one could put it over into this direction. I think, I mean, this is messy. I know this is messy, but sometimes, you know, sometimes you've got to just take the messy options. Maybe a preserve would be the thing to do there. I have unlocked it. I rarely go for a preserve as a first district, but you know what? Let's just go with the feel, you know? Sometimes your gut tells you something and you have to listen. Oh, this uh, slinger just moved forward rather than doing anything else, so that's 
good. Um, there's the barb encampment, by the way. I think I'm going to let them come to me. I don't need to charge in there round about now. Oh, more iron. There we go. That's 235 gold. 239, I should say, because I just sold a little bit more. We've got ourselves some options. Next turn, I can build a monument. I will take that monument. I need the extra culture. Like so. That doubles my culture per turn. And Gnosis can actually finally start to grow a bit more now. I know, by the way, that I'm losing out on a couple of preserved tiles by putting districts next to it, but I think for me, I only need to work a couple of those tiles. It's mainly that I just get the infrastructure down. That's kind of the main important thing for me here. Okay, city number two, Abolitan. That's a decent start to the city, but it needs to get better. I've got some luxury. That city's on plus one. My capital's on plus one. That means I can afford to sell it, and I will to get enough gold to be able to buy this tile and be able to put the preserve down. It's going to take a couple turns for this city to get good enough to do anything really, but as soon as that preserve is down, we will be laughing. Also, Pingala, please get Connoisseur. I need to get my unique district up super quick. Speaking of drama and poetry, uh, yes, build a wonder is very unlikely, but I want to get that before my government. The government can wait. And look at that, great writers are really being rushed now. Has any gone? No, no, none have gone yet, but we've still got 24 turns minimum. I think a lot of people will start to earn those great writers pretty quickly. There we go, religion. Oh my goodness, can we turn this horrible start around? We've got seven science and it's turn 67. This has been an absolute joke. That's the best pun I've got. Luck has deserted me. <laughs> no, oh, come on, that's good. Work <laughs> ethic. <laughs> Work ethic, we're doing it. Okay, what are we going to do otherwise? I need anything, anything right now that's going to be able to help me. And, oh my lord, it's just, it's just, everything is so tough at the moment. I could go for teeth, show me your teeth. That would give me some gold, some actual gold. I think I'm going to have to. Just, I think just any gold at this stage of the game has got to be a good thing for me. I know there's probably better options, but for now... That is fine. How are the barbs alive again and over here? If there's a barb encampment on that one tile, I'm going to get very annoyed. Um, so hopefully my capital, yeah, my capital's now got 10 production. It's really not as much as I hoped it would have, but it's something. Uh, and I also can now go for theology and get myself scripture. Anyone getting great scientists? Yeah, sort of. Quite a few. Okay, great people with any game with Greece in is going to be very difficult. Urban planning will do. Conscription is still... Very good for me. A little bit of extra production now. We're working this. We're working this. That's my first builder done. And yep, we're going to just start fixing things so that my capital can grow again. That would be pretty cool. I'd like to get that iron mine sorted quick, but a trader, in order to get that preserve finished, is going to be awesome. Stonehenge got built only two turns after I got my religion. That could have been an absolute slap in the face. That would have been probably the only thing this game could have done to make my situation even worse. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't. I'm glad it pulled that last blow back. I was on the floor. I was, I was, there were stars in my eyes. I was, I was lost. It didn't need that killing blow. Thank God. And Wasploosh, wheel and iron working, both boosted and another source of iron in. People are not buying my iron, unfortunately, but I will meet more people on the map. Uh, I can sell open borders for a bit of gold. I shall do that. Auckland. Oh my goodness, Auckland is actually really good. Religious conversion, your age is away, but sure, I like the ambition. That would be plus one, plus one. I think if I send it from the city, it would be two food, one production. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it would be. Yep, like I thought, two, one. Okay, that should hopefully mean that city starts to grow. How badly am I doing compared to everyone else here? So this is the Deity++ plus plus version where the AI doesn't get any settlers or warriors at the beginning of the game, but they get bigger bonuses. You can see already 30, I mean, the yields are way above mine. Uh, six cities, 17 population, five cities, 19 population compared to my two and seven. I am so far behind. It is ridiculous, but it's okay. It's okay. We we can we can get back into this from a disgusting start. And to do that, I'm going to build my Acropolis. Let's get it down. There it is. My unique district. Plus four era score. Beautiful. And two more envoys. I can actually get Mexico City on side. This will discover a lot of the map for me. And hopefully, I'll meet people. Yes, I've met one of the Greece. Beautiful stuff. There they are. Over here. Middelos. If I just move a unit around. There we go. 
Honour to meet you. Love to sample your hospitality. Beautiful stuff. There's Persia, by the way. Persia looks like they're in Greece. Oh dear, that's not very good. Well, they'll buy some of my iron. Really not much of it. And they have tea. Okay, I think my capital... No, it's my second city could use some tea to stay happy. Uh, Washington. Oh, America. We've got so many Greasers in the game. We're already getting American city names. I love that. Yeah, sod it. I'm doing it. If I can keep this city happy, hopefully it can get the Preserve District down a bit quicker. Get that uh, Grove going. It's a bit of a rogue play. But I'm hoping that will make that city super, super good. Scripture, yes, instead of urban planning. That means that I'm getting now a whopping 10 production per turn from that holy site. And that's up to a plus 18 capital. We're starting to rev, starting to go. Theology is a good one. Let's go plot uh, political philosophy now. Gorgo, yes, I'd love to meet you. You you, you look great. Another, another powerful lady in Greece. We've made a friend. You want my iron? Yes, she does. She loves my iron. Yes, everyone wants iron. I was actually, you know, running out of iron to actually give people there. I can buy more luxuries as well. People are still happy. We have 18 gold per ton. Oh my god. It's Don't look now, but I have the actual beginnings of an economy. It's, uh, it's too early to say if it'll survive. <laughs> the signs are good. Now, I realise my ancient walls will be giving me great writing points. I'm really not bothering too much at the moment because we're already on medieval era. I think all five classical writers have gone. To be expected, yeah, they have. To be expected in a game with Greece. Oh my god, Persia got one of them. Persia, the only person without the great writing bonuses, got a great writer. This is a flex. This is an absolute flex from Cyrus. They are, they are enjoying themselves this game. I have afforded myself a settler. Perfect. Right, I need you to... I might go and put the sewer city down, but it's a little bit rubbish, being honest. So I might also go and settle down. There are some turtles. There are some incense down in this direction. And of course, I've got just an amazing set of cities down there. You know what? I'm actually going to settle. If we go for this tile there, I'm thinking actually we can get ourselves a couple of holy sites based on some really good adjacencies. If I were to go like preserve, preserve, I know I'm giving up the work, you know, the best holy site tiles with that adjacency, but there's enough desert around here to make these worth it. And then I can actually make sure that these tiles are kind of working fully as well. So yeah, it's a, it's a weird, it's a weird one, but I think, I think I like that plan. That's pretty good for me. Uh, and we're going to go and start sending my hoplites and my archers out to go and secure that area for myself. We're also playing Sparta here. Sparta! You can't get through this tiny mountain past barbarians as much as you try. Yes, I've got friendship with somebody. They like me being Sparta. Look at that. Ha ha ha! Oh, I can hold that pass with 300 men and 300 men alone. Classical Republic. It feels like a very Greek thing, doesn't it? Let's go. We've got settlers out. We've got scripture out. I really need to actually build some settlers otherwise that's just totally pointless urban planning builders no conscription i liked that card and diplomatic league first envoy counts as two let's go to auckland well bam uh, i should be able to take that over next turn oh i forgot how expensive groves are oh okay okay let's just start building it and i'll build the production up here in a second uh, this is actually giving me faith and culture from the city hmm those probably aren't the tiles i would be working being honest with you saying that they really aren't very many better so, so yeah go on then that's that's probably fine and you know what i need to be a little bit careful i've only got three turns in order to get myself enough era score to win this era okay right let's think about this build a pasture that would give me one. Build a water mill would build me one. Two galleys, sea resources. Actually, a galley is a useful thing. I want that water mill, but I probably do want a galley as well because that would at least give me the bonus by being at sea. Hmm. Ancient walls, obviously, is a good one as well. I'm in that place where I kind of need about four things and I only have enough gold for zero of them. I've just picked up a bunch of gold from trading and I can afford a galley next turn. So that would give me some. Then I'm doing the watermill in that city. That's another bunch. Improved two sea resources. My builder only has the one charge. That's not good. What else could I do? What else could I do? Build a pasture. Pasture is more important. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna have to go and, oh, I can't get down there in time unless I get this tile, but that is 120 gold and I need the galley, but I can sell those horses next turn. So there's horseback riding. Okay, hold in there. Hold in there. We may we may have half a plan here. I, I don't know about a whole plan, 
A whole plan may be pushing it, but half a plan, half a plan I can do. Oh no, there's a barbarian swordsman. This is what happens when you leave the barbs alone for too long. They get strong. Never mind. Luckily for me, I have huge combat bonuses being stood next to each other. So there you go. It's almost already dead. Yeah, people are buying the horses. They are buying the horses. That is good. And my iron still. Oh, 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 oh. That is enough for a galley. That is enough for a galley. Next turn. Next turn, I have two. That would give me two error score. I'm going to finish the water mill next turn as well. That gives me one error score for boosting construction. So now I can go through and go for the galley. And there's the golden age. Oh, that's, um, oh, hang on. What's going on here? Oh, don't do that. Oh, take your eye off the settler for one turn. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my troops back, hit that, go to there. Even if it takes me, I'll be able to take it back next turn. I've chessed it. It's good. Good, it backed off. It didn't try and take me on, and that is a good thing. Okay, so these are the cards I'm playing with at the moment. I'm pretty happy with those. Make a dedication. We're in a golden age, and we're going to go for monumentality. I think it's the best option for me. I've got uh, 341 faith and quite a bit coming in per turn, so I'm happy with that accumulation. Let's just quickly go for this builder. We'll go for a settler next turn, but this is plenty because I can now work on getting those tiles. I'm just get horseback riding and construction. But this grove is slowly being made, very slowly. My galley can now go and, I guess, explore. Oh, look, Greece on Greece action going on here. Oh, no, Greece on Persia. Oh, I really want to see Persia do well. If Persia ends up being, like, our main competitor this game, I'm going to be very excited by that. Greece versus Persia. Nope, I sell on my own time, thank you. I don't take unsolicited offers. Well, Congress, I don't really care about today. Um, we're going to go for anti-cavalry and we're going to go for me. I don't know why I'm going to go for both, but uh, Cyrus and Melly, yep. Yeah, I mean, honestly, at this point, at this point, we don't really mind. Here's Auckland, by the way. Let's go and discover a little bit more of the world. And that is Greece. Oh, yeah, Persia own Greece. They are completely in control. That is slightly scary. But uh, you can see now our fish have a little bit more production. And that's good because I'm just about to go and get a builder to start improving them. That is some turtles. Do I need to keep those turtles? No. My immunities are super happy. What's going on? Oh, I'm buying loads of immunities. Oh, that's right. Well, I might as well just sell them then. I mean, is my city ecstatic? It is. I probably should keep it. But I mean, that's quite a bit of gold I could get. I think I need infrastructure rather than raw yields at the moment. So we'll go for selling stuff. But I can see why keeping that would have been also a quite a good option. Like we're, just, we're just flogging all our resources. We're up to 320 gold now. That's quite good. And let's go for another settler. Oh, hello, Leonidas. What a hunk. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, how does Leonidas get on with Gorgo? This is my question. Um, they are friendly. Look at that. There you go. Might actually go and rush, um, I think that's Cyprus over this way. It's got some good resources and would be a really good way of just consolidating my power in the sea. So might go and just see if I can seize that. Where is my next city going to go as well? There's um, lots of resources down here. So I'm thinking this tile. Let's go and work that. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll move my warrior and my archer down to go and secure this area from barbs. But that gives me turtle. Uh, unfortunately, horses have appeared right where my campus was going to go, but never mind. I can still put the campus there and settle on this tile, actually, can't I? So that's not a bad idea. Let's go do that. There is some cotton. You can see we've now got buffalo. Buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. And let's just start this by building the holy site and getting a builder. Goodness me. Oh, can you just imagine how good the um, Lady of the Reeds and Marshes pantheon would have been in this city? I just... Oh, it's so frustrating. I do not went in on a mil actually I do want in on a military emergency. Um, let me just quickly check how much gold per turn I'm getting. Not much from Cyrus. I'm going to get it because this is going to reveal the map to me. Oh, it didn't. That's a shame. I was going to say I could actually get shared visibility and see what was going on on the map, but alas, not today. There are some gems again. I'm just enjoying getting gems and selling them for like 15 gold per turn. Like this is way better than keeping the immunities to myself right now. All three cities are happy. Happy is good enough. I'm also now building the Jebel Bakal. I wouldn't normally rush this wonder at all, but I think I can get 
one, two, three, four minimum cities between it. That'll give me, I think, 16 faith per turn as well as a bunch of iron that I can sell. So it's actually really handy. So, you know, sometimes you just have to take these things. And here is city number four, Cleveland. What a city. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, working a nice little fish tile. Auckland has abandoned me. They want religious conversion still, but I should get an envoy fairly quickly. Oh, yay, I just built all that. Okay. Oh, fine. Right, everything's broken, but the, I mean, the yields are better here, so in the long run, that'll be fine, but it's just like, it waits for me. It specifically waits for me to finish all that, and then goes, you know what? I'm gonna flood you. <laughs> Luck truly has deserted me this game. It, it really has. Let's get research into my capital. Oh, my yields are poor. My yields are so poor. But 20 science, 22 culture, that's at least something. We're at least getting something in. God, my score is appalling. Oh, no, it looks like Cyprus is about to get nabbed, unfortunately. I was a little slow on the draw. I've just been saving enough, and I think I've almost got enough for the Settler. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, I could I could sell now. I, I, there's still a chance. Sometimes the AI is very, very slow on Settling. Like, I might be able to go and nab this if I'm lucky. Just depends. I've got shipbuilding finishing next turn anyway. We'll give it a go. You, you never know. You never know. I've seen weirder things. Where are you going to go? It, it, as I say, hopefully it's the indecisiveness of the AI that can sometimes let it down. I can go and settle kind of over there. That'll be pretty good for me, you know. One more city. Bam! Houston. Lovely. Are you going to do it? Are you going to wait that? Again, they, they may be being indecisive here. They may have the indecisive issue. I'm on the island. Are they going to settle in panic? They may do. They may not. No one's sure. There is Alexander of Greece. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. And is this actually a new continent? This counts as West Asia still. So, yeah, no, we're, we're going to be very similar. But there's Dallas. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> that was their own fault. That was absolutely their own fault. I'm really glad we managed to steal that. That's That actually amuses me quite a lot. Let's get walls up quickly. In fact, we can get a decent writer on if I give myself the walls card and we start to just throw some walls up. We settled too close. I will take that 30 Diplo favor though. I'm probably not going to be settling that close to you again. And honestly, I can just sell it to somebody else. Uh, look at this, some really good deals now. We're on 101 gold per turn, of which 87 of that is from deals. Yeah, my, my turn 100 stats were so bad, I didn't really want to show them off, you know. But you just have to assume that everything's going well. It's really not. Here we go. Feudalism. Feudalism has been done, and so is construction. Let's get this moving. I don't need conscription anymore. That's kind of a bit rubbish. Serfdom I'm going to put in instead of urban planning, and limes is going to go in the other slot. Are we building settlers? Is that a thing we're really doing? I probably should do that more, but for now we're going to go urban planning and hope that my faith is used for the settlers. So urban planning, scripture, limes, serfdom, that's a good mix of things. Ugh, why are you not done with the grove yet? Come on, <laughs> this is just the worst, the worst original city ever. Uh, there is my, actually I'm starting to spread my religion around a tiny bit now. Every time I do, plus three gold from teeth. Oh, you know when it just picks really annoying choices? It's like, I want you to put a road through this pass, but no, you're going into the sea. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, oh, that's route so much worse. Fine. Fine. I'll have to go through there, but I just, I want the road. That's, that's what I'm doing this for. It's, uh, every time you put a city on the coast, it just, it gets so confused and so weirded out by life. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Salty Tech, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Critties, Morag, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand, Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amir EC, Henry, Rom88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy. Thank you for all of your support and everybody that supports the channel generally you're all brilliant thank you